In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CuO plus H2SO4. This is copper 2 oxide and this is sulfuric acid. We're going to assume that this sulfuric acid is going to ionize completely, that both of these hydrogen atoms are going to dissociate into their ions. This is a strong acid. Let's first balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation and it's already balanced, so we're done with that step. The next step is we write the states. Copper oxide, copper 2 oxide, that's an ionic compound. It's a solid. Sulfuric acid, we're going to say that that's going to be aqueous. This is a strong electrolyte. It dissolves in water. Copper sulfate, copper sulfate is actually a very soluble compound. We could check that out on a table of solubility if we wanted, though. Here's copper, and the sulfate's way over here. So we'll go over and down, and we see that S there. So copper sulfate, that's soluble. It's going to dissolve into its ions. We're going to put an AQ after that. And we know that water is a liquid. So now we have the states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this will give us the complete ionic equation. So a strong electrolyte, that's one that dissolves and breaks apart into its ions. We said that CuO here, that's a solid. So because this is a solid, we're not going to split it apart into its ions. We're just going to write CuO. And I won't write the states now. I'll write that at the end. The sulfuric acid, though, this is a strong acid. It's going to dissociate into its ions. We know that hydrogen in group 1, that has a 1 plus charge. And then we have the sulfate. That's a good one to remember. That's always 2 minus for its ionic charge. So I have H plus, but the subscript here means I have two of those. Then I have just the one sulfate. And those, those are the reactants. So now we can write the products. Sulfate, we said, is 2 minus. So this copper here has to be 2 plus. And water, that's a liquid. We're not going to split that apart. So in the products, we have Cu2 plus plus the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus, plus the liquid water, H2O. So we don't split solids liquids or gases apart when we do net ionic equations. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. These appear on both sides of the equation. Really the only thing that's the same in the reactants and products is this sulfate ion here. So we're going to cross the sulfate ion out and once we've done that we have our net ionic equation. Let me clean this up and then I'll add in the states aqueous and solid and we'll have our equation. So this is our net ionic equation for CuO plus H2SO4. That's our copper 2 oxide plus our sulfuric acid. So note that it's still balanced. The atoms are the same. And also, we have the same net charge on each side. It's a good way to check with net ionic equations. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.